Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 13 of C++ for Beginners. Uh, the first thing you might notice is I am not using uh, C++ Express Edition. I'm actually using my regular Visual Studio that I normally do. So uh, that shouldn't be really too much of a problem. All the code is the exact same, just it uh, just looks a little different. But anyways, uh, we're going to get right into it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the, the do while loop which is uh, very similar to the regular while loop, except the do while guarantees that the loop will run at least once. So let's go ahead and make a uh, variable. I, we will set this to one. And uh, to make a dual while loop, you write do, followed by curly braces. And then after that, you write your uh, while. You write while, and then inside the parentheses is where we'll do the... Uh, write the comparison or the uh, the test so we're gonna going to uh, print out I as long as I is less than uh, or no we'll do as long as I is equal to zero so you can see that it will in fact run once so let's do it at cn.get so if we run this now you see I is one and the while loop the do while loop says I is equal to zero but if we run it we will see that it, it 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 prints it out because this is how the do while works. For it it first does this block of code and then it checks afterwards to see if it should do it again. So i is one, so it goes prints out i i is one and it prints it out. Then it checks uh, if i is equal to zero, then we'll do it again and then check again. But as you can see, it will always run it once. So let's do a uh, while i i don't know while i is less than 10 and if you I, I basically showed everything so as you can see i can be 11 and it'll still guarantee to run it once and you can still use the uh the regular zero so oops oops <laughs> forgot to add one to i Go ahead and add one to i, and then run it, and you'll see you get the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, all the same. But the th difference between this is that it's guaranteed to run at least once. Uh, you you might not know why we'll need this, but later on in some programs, the do while loop uh, can do stuff that regular loops can't. So I just wanted to show this to you real quick, so I don't have to introduce you to the syntax later on. You'll already pretty much know what's going on. But anyways, that about wraps up this video. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.